hello everyone and welcome back to another video so as you can see i've took my nails off my lovely christmas nails uh, because i wanted to try something new today um i just want to point out that um burnt myself on the oven the other day i do that all the time i'm awful um anyway yeah i just wanted to say that before somebody mentioned it in the comments because i know it is it does look quite sore but it's not that bad um so yeah my nails are sort of prepped i've got glitter on them now because i've just put them in something that's got glitter on um so yeah i'm just going to push the cuticles back and then scrape off some da dead cuticle and then i want to try something new because what i'm going to do is if you remember from my last born pretty haul i got this so this is the peelable base coat so what i want to do is put some of these full cover tips on just like I normally would using this um, six in one nail glue that I love. This is brilliant stuff. And yeah, I've never had nails come off since I've been using this. I really love it. So I want to put the nails on using this, but then when I actually come to design them, I want to use some different gel polishes. So I want to use the peelable base coat and see if it works. Um, you know, so that I can put some colours on, have them on for a couple of days and then just take the colour off and change it. Uh, yeah, because if I'm not doing a proper set with glitter in and, and with builder gel and stuff and I just want nail polish on, like gel polish, then I want to be able to just change it, you know, every few days and just make it a bit more interesting and get used out of all the polishes that I've got because I keep buying them and then I'm not using them. So, yeah, we're going to try that today. So I'm just going to get on, put the tips on and everything. Um, do the last little bit of prep and then we'll see what colours I'm going to choose. So like I said I am just using the Born Pretty tool just to push my cuticles back and then just to scrape any dead skin off where it's grown onto the nail. Um, so yeah just all basically all the white stuff that you don't want there because if you don't scrape this off and you leave it on um, it will cause list lifting and I do want to use this peelable base coat, but I don't want the nail tips actually coming off. So I want to make sure that they're stuck onto the natural nail properly. And then also to help adhesion, you do need to sort of rough up your natural nail surface, whether that just be with a buffer um, or this file that I'm using. It's one of those metal files that you put um, sandpaper stickers on. And so the side that I was using was really worn down and it was really soft. So it wasn't like I was using a rough file on my natural nails because you should never do that. So yeah, try and be as gentle as you can. And then you're not actually peeling away or filing away your actual natural nail. So then after that, I'm just brushing all the dust off and then I'm spraying some alcohol onto my hand. And then I'm just using the brush again just to get that into all the little gaps and get rid of any dust that's still there. And then I'm going in with the Born Pretty Dehydrator and the Non-Acid Primer. And then the Acid Free Primer does need a couple of minutes just to dry. It doesn't completely dry, it sort of dries with a tacky layer, so it will never fully dry. And that's because it's helping you, it's giving you new sort of another layer of adhesion for your, um, your gel polish or your builder gel or whatever you're going to put onto those nails. So then I've already put the pinky finger tip on and I'm moving on to the ring finger. So I'm just putting on a little bit of the base coat, this six in one nail glue. And so that's going to be used on my natural nail, just a thin coat. And then I'm going to put some inside the tip itself. And then that gets pressed down onto my nail. And then I just flash cure it just for, usually I just do about five seconds and then I bring it out. And if there's any gel that's sort of oozed out to the sides or near the cuticle, I can use a silicone tool just to scrape it away. And then I can put it back under the lamp again.
so I'm doing that for all of the nails and then when I'm happy with them I am going to just um, cut the length down a bit with my tip cutters and then I'll just file them and buff them so that there's no um, shiny surface left because I don't want anything to help the peel off base coat I want to make it as hard as possible and really test this peel off base coat So after I've buffed all the nails there is quite a lot of dust on the surface of them so I just use my little brush dry and make sure that I get off as much of that as I can. You don't want to spray alcohol onto these nail tips because they will turn white, the alcohol turns them white and then I went in with the base coat so I actually put two coats of this base coat on over these tips. I didn't show me putting both coats on just one but yeah I wanted to make sure that you know this base coat was going to come off and I did test it on a tip with just one coat on and it did come off okay but with these being you know on my nails I wanted to make sure that I was giving them a proper coat so I put the second coat on just to make sure that everywhere on that tip was covered properly. I cured it for 60 seconds because it didn't say on the bottle how long so I just made sure to cure it for 60 so it was definitely fully cured so that was each coat and then I'm going in with this moonlight magnetic gel polish from Born Pretty. I think this is number one. Um, they do have a range of these in all different colours. Um, so this is a magnetic. So I'm bringing all the sort of glitter to the surface and I want as much of the surface sort of glowing as possible. Now it is um, quite a nice grey colour but I did want to, I'm doing sort of a double magnetic design. So I'm putting this polish on and then when that's all cured, I do them one nail at a time. So I make sure that I get the, the glitter or pigment, whatever it is that's in this, in the right place. And then I'm going in with JN38, which is a jelly nude, a really gorgeous pink colour. It's like a neon pink. It's beautiful over this moonlight cat eye stuff. So I did do a little experiment with this on one of my other haul um, videos. So I wanted to try it out on my nails. So it doesn't actually look as bright as it does in person. It's gorgeous, it really is. When you move the nail and you see it shining, it's amazing, it really is. So it looked gorgeous on its own, but I'm, all, I'm actually gonna be doing another coat of magnetic gel polish over the top, but I'm gonna use a different one because I want a bit of a different effect. So when that's all been cured on all the nails, I'm going in with this other cat magnetic gel and this is, it's called Omnipotent and it is hollow. It's hollow glitter, but it's cat eye, it's, it's magnetic. So I'm putting that over the ring finger and I'm using my magnet that helps me get like the S shape and I'm using that for the ring finger. And then I'm putting it on the other nails as well, but I want it sort of um, a glitter fade at the sort of the tip area of the nail. So I'm brushing it all over the nail, leaving it wet. And then I'm getting my strong magnet that Born Pretty sent to me. And I'm using that just to get the glitter to come to the surface. And then I'm putting the magnet on the top of the nail and I'm bringing it down quite slowly just to exactly where I want it. And that gets rid of all the glitter from the top of the nail and it brings it all down to the tip so that it looks like you've got sort of a, a glitter fade just on the tip but it's hollow it's gorgeous i was i really love these nails so when i've done that i'm going in with the super top coat and i'm just top coating everything so these were a little bit messy because as you can see i'm using my non-dominant hand so um, I did need to tidy these up a little bit, so I did need to sort of file the edges a little bit, just where I'd sort of gone over. But yeah, I absolutely love these. I was so happy with them. So when the top coat's been cured, this is what they look like. 
so I've, I've recorded this in my normal lighting and then I've gone into my little photo box and I've recorded a little clip from in there as well just to show you what they look like with sort of a darker background because I really wanted to show how they looked and how they shine and it was just, it was really hard to capture it on camera but I think I got it a little bit and it was even harder to take photos of these nails because it just didn't want to play at all. So yeah, I do love them but I will be peeling them off in a couple of days so I'm going to leave them on and then in a future video I will show you me peeling them off and tell you how long they lasted and everything like that so yeah stay tuned for that so you'll find links to everything that I've used in today's video in the description box as well as my 10% discount code that's also on the screen so that's it for this video so I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.